Welcome back to Animal House Calls. Michael uh, Goldman, Purity Pest Control, do your thing. Michael, what are you doing? Uh, we're looking for bed bugs. Just hopefully you won't have any here, but you never know. Come on, seek. Uh oh. Good boy. You show me? Good boy. What do you got in there? Uh oh. He found bed bugs. Oh my gosh, come on over here, Michael. Come on over here. Now, the bed bugs, are they alive or are they yep, dead? They're alive. They're alive. The dogs and are they're trained well on contained. Life. Yep. And who's this? This is Radar. Come He's on, a Radar. three year old Australian Shepherd. Beautiful. Now, Radar is a, a part of the canine detection team at mm -hmm. Purity. Yep. How do you train a dog to detect bed bugs and not confuse that with anything else? Okay, uh, it's the same as drugs, licorice or cocaine. If something has an odor, you can train a dog to discriminate that odor. Uh, insects have pheromones, and basically, uh, you just train the dog on live, uh, on whatever you want. So this is live bed bugs and viable eggs, and uh, eventually the dog understands that it's all he wants to find. That's incredible. So tell me how you trained Radar, specifically. Um, well, basically, uh, I, I, at three months old, he was imprinted with the odor. Uh, and it's, uh, I don't have to go into detail about how, how to imprint. But then after that, it, it's just a matter of hiding it in places. And when we train, we, you don't necessarily always want to put it in a bed or a sofa where you think you'd have it. We want to put it behind pictures in places that you don't normally find Is them. Is that where bed bugs can be found? They can be found anywhere. 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 How do you stop the bed bugs from jumping onto radar or jumping onto you? That's a good question. First of all, they don't jump. But okay. if I walk into a unit that's infested, uh, I just pull the dog out. I, I don't need a dog to tell me that unit's infested. Right. And then I'll go do a uh, inspection on my own. Uh, Will but, you be in a different uh, uh, kind of protective no, suit? No, I'll be in my just my uh, my inspection uniform. But when I get home, I go into the garage and I undress there and uh, I take precautions. Now we all respond to rewards. So part of the training would be uh, learning the smell, uh, detecting, and then would there be rewards at the end of that? Yeah, actually, I didn't pay him for his. Yeah, I last think you one. should. He's looking for that. Good and boy. he's the type of dog that is really great at that kind of thing, at corralling. Is he, does he have a bit of border collie in him? He's an Australian Shepherd. Okay, but uh, a little, yeah. looks like a little border yeah. in there, too. The way you can tell it is that the Aussies don't have tails. Uh, he's got a lot of drive, and you want a dog with a lot of drive, and, uh, and, and that's what he has. I mean, you can train any dog to do anything. You can train a chihuahua to pull a dog sled. Wouldn't be very good at it, but they can understand the concept. So uh, dogs are are basically, you know, good to go. Patience, kindness, reward, but also he, these are smart dogs and they've yes. got jobs. So let me ask you, who calls you for help? Somebody who suspects that they may have bed bugs or a landlord who's concerned that a tenant mm -hmm. Has, has bed yeah. bugs in there? Yeah, I mean, yes to both. Who, who, okay. uh, hospitals, <laughs> uh, hotels, libraries, uh, anywhere where humans congregate, that's where you're likely to find bed bugs. And we get uh, we get called a lot uh, for people to go into their homes to do what I like to call a peace of mind inspection. Uh, they're getting marks on them. There's a lot of bed bugs in the news lately, and all of a sudden they start thinking they have them. So we bring a dog to give them a peace of mind or else to say sorry, but yes, you do have them. And how is it that radar was able to detect the bugs uh, that are live in that vial? So how did they they smell through glass. It's not. There, there's a little uh, oh, bit I of see. Hold material. That steady. We'll take a look. There's yeah. a little material there, um, and you can see the actual bed bugs there. I've actually never seen a bed bug, <laughs> and uh, you know, it doesn't look dissimilar to other little creatures that you might see it, around your plants. So, I mean, how do you know that that's a bed bug? Well, I'm an associate certified entomologist, <laughs> so I, I do know that. And you have a dog that can. And detect I have a this. dog that can absolutely, that, are absolutely. You, are you can, busy? Are you working a lot? We're very busy. Um, we're doing a lot with with dogs. As a matter of fact, uh, we're, we've teamed up with Olympus Canine to do uh, for uh, landlords to do uh, grow up and uh, meth lab inspections, walking down the halls. Excellent. It's another job for the pets. Well done. Let's bring in your wife and a. Uh, Two dogs that are not working now but uh, have wonderful histories. Hi, Arlene. Hi. Who are these two beauties? This is Cody. Come and turn around so we can see yes. all okay. three of you. Good. You're, you're all gorgeous. Good. So which Hi, one is Cody? You. This one's Cody. He was actually the first dog in the world to be trained for bed bug sniffing. He is a German Shepherd rescue. He's a cross. Oh. We rescued him at 12 weeks old. Beautiful. Nicely and done. This is Alexa. She's a golden retriever who has some neurological problems and because of that, we no longer use her to detect bed bugs, but she's certified with the Delta Society and Therapeutic Paws of Canada, so she does pet therapy. Are there particular types of b breeds that do, do better at detecting and then end up as wonderful therapy dogs like Alexa? Yes, that's the, that's the truth for sure. But yeah. almost any dog could be trained for scent detection, but they may not be very good at it. But you could like training a chihuahua to pull a sled, as yep. you say. <laughs> Any dangers involved for the dogs? I mean, humans, of course, we have to ask, but we're talking dogs now. The, my dogs, uh, any, any working dogs uh, rely on the, the handler. 
to watch out for their health and safety. So I'll walk into a house or a basement, etc. first, make sure it's safe before we bring the dogs in because they rely, like I say, they rely on us. So we don't want to bring them when there's tacks and, and nails sticking out of the ground. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, Cody is, uh, Cody, as I mentioned, he was 10 and he's, um, he's uh, just about ready to retire and some people say he shouldn't retire. So I ask him, Cody, sit for a second. Would you rather be working or retire? Cody, would you rather be working or retire? <laughs> I think he wants to retire. <laughs> uh, let, let sleeping dogs lie. Dogs with jobs, they love it. Where do these dogs uh, sleep at night, by the way? Uh, on our bed, on, on my house. <laughs> uh, Cody doesn't, but these two do until, until we kick them off. It's a family yeah. affair, yep. and I think it's a very sort of environmentally smart way of detecting bed bugs. Uh, uh, maybe they call it um, the natural way, let the dogs do their work. Well, a human is only about 35% accurate, dogs about 95%. Incredible. So, yeah. You guys are terrific. You humans yeah. are as well. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very you, much. And I Thank think you. we've got time to uh, take a look at a, a video. Just confirm that in the control room. Yeah, okay, it's uh, gone viral. Somehow this adventurous little pooch found himself stranded on a chunk of ice floating near a Russian port. Now, surprisingly, wow. the pup seems pretty comfortable, not scared. This fishing boat just happened to come by, and one of the men bravely dove into the water, and a rescue began. After some hard work, the crew pulled the dog to safety. Oh, that's sweet. Isn't that great? Yeah. That wraps up this edition of Animal House Calls. Thank you for being with us. If you want to see the show again, just go to our website, cp24.com, and click on uh, video, and then uh, select Animal House Calls. Thank you. See you next week.